construction fetish, right? In streetwear. Yeah, this is not one. I saw this lookbook. I don't know what the brand is. It just made me think, like, what is what is with these brands? Maybe the workwear thing is probably similar. You can't really be mad at a brand for, you know, doing the whole workwear thing. But this thing is a bit... I don't know, man. What is it? Is it like streetwear cosplay? Like, I don't understand this. So this brand is called Unknown. Spelled U-N-K-N-W-N. Headline from Hypebeast, New York Sunshine Craft Construction Inspired Demolition Unit Collection. It's very weird. So you've got, they've essentially made hard, hard shell hats um, in the vein of a construction worker, you know, working in New York City or something, as you've probably seen from b- the bygone era or from video footage or if you've been there yourself. You've got this weird mesh top on with 3M strips on it and the logo and fit maybe on the chest pocket. Just a very bizarre collaboration. Why would you? Why would you want to make clothes that look like you're working on a construction site when you're not? Very odd. And again, a hard shell shoe, uh, uh, a hard shell hat. Why would you wear this? This lookbook is a very weird one. Very strange creative direction from a streetwear brand. I don't really get this whatsoever. Unless maybe the owner is from that world and maybe had you know got his maybe made his money from working in construction and saved up and went and achieved his dreams, but he sees. A lot of the lessons he learned in the construction site are very applicable to the streetwear side of it. I don't know if it's like a homage from where he's come from, but it just seems a bit, it's a bit naff, in it, really? All standing on construction sites, not really building anything. Can anyone actually make anything in that group of people sitting around the table? If you can't make a clock or a plaster or a wall and you're wearing this sort of stuff, you probably shouldn't be wearing it, really, innit? It's a bit mad, isn't it? Not a fan of it whatsoever. I, I, me not a fan. I, I don't get it. Again, maybe it's not dissimilar from brands doing workwear collaborations or doing outdoorsman collaborations right um being one with nature and shit but this is a bit ugh. it's like you know those skate brands that have a skate you know those non-skateboard team brands they just have a skate brand but it's, there's no team towards it they don't sponsor skaters they don't stock their stuff in skate stores it's just a brand that just emulates or trying to tries to replicate or tries to basically suck all the joy and all the spirit out of skateboarding and just basically make it into a clothing line. You'd, you, you'd imagine, it, 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 this is like what, if, what Zara do when they try and do streetwear, right? They just make, they just put a kid in, in some shoes, in some streetwear shoes, to streetwear clothing that's really baggy. He's got tattoos on and big earrings and like a weird color hair. And like, you know, that's to them a streetwear because they just take all the fucking joy out of it or the, the X factor that makes it what it is. And just, they just take the elements and say, yeah, that's streetwear. He's got a bucket hat. He's got a big hoodie with a logo in it. He's got some jeans. He's got some colorful trainers. This is similar to it. So it's like, why would you want to wear this? And these pictures as well, they're pretty awful though, isn't it? Like, that's so far away, you can't see nothing. That's, again, the back of him facing a wall. Like, I don't know. Guantanamo Bay merch. Me no no, man. Like, what's this? 9-11 merch. Very, very odd. Unless all the items are going, the, the money's going towards helping people get into this level of charity, but... It's a bizarre collection. I don't, I just don't get it. Like, why is this? Why does this exist? How does this get on? How, again, you know what this does to me, though. This makes me wonder, or this makes me believe that if I had a brand, I could be successful. Because this is garbage, isn't it? No, or is it just me? Caution install team unknown. Like, what the fuck is this? Again, unless the people that are making this unknown brand are, have some sort of connection with, I don't know, manual labor of some sort. The parents are from there. He's got, I don't know, it's just. It's a bizarre thing to wear. Like, why would you wear any of this? It's so, so shit. So, so shit. Especially the, the hard shell hat as part of a collection is odd because this is something that maybe Supreme will do as like a knickknack. Maybe as an accessory to kind of, you know, add to the whole thing. But I don't know, haters beware or something. Beware of haters up above. I don't know, whatever. But as part of a collection of, a, of, of, of part of a capture collection, like what are your, you, your customers meant to do with that thing? Put it on their shelf. Wear it. It's like, yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of it, man. I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna say it. again, I don't know. Again, I think for the guys out there that again, going back to my debate, going back to my rant about kids uploading images of PSD files of line sheets that they're hoping to design. Stop hoping to design stuff and put actual physical products out and fucking you know, you could also be on hype beast. You could also get your brand out there. I'm not sure how much they've sold of this, but yeah. Doesn't look good for me, mate. I'm not a fan. No thank you, sir. We'll move on from that one.